Hi everyone, today I am going to talk about reflect arrays. This type of antennas can replace normal reflector antennas by using small reflective parts embedded on the electric substrate. These reflective parts have different reflection phases, so if you can arrange them in a form that they will represent the spatial difference of reflector antennas, they can be used as replacement for them. In addition, uh, if you you can arrange the these parts for beamforming and uh, polarization changing purposes, so reflective arrays have many different. Uh, places to be implemented and here we have a very good book where uh, Payam Nahari, Frank Young and Atez El Shabrani uh, prepared and there are very useful information in it I learned about a lot about reflector, uh, reflector array antennas from this book and uh, this is my main uh, source of knowledge and if we uh, look at the uh, page 62 uh, we can here see the typical geometry of planar reflect array it consists of one feeding antenna and one reflecting surface consists of small reflective parts so uh, we can define the antenna as a face center uh, which consists of one phase center and phase center of an antenna means that this antenna is radiating all of, it, of its radiation from one single point and all the small elements on the reflective array can be represented as small parts we can measure the distance between phase array and uh, element antenna and also we have here one vector representing as R0 it represents the direction of the uh, plane wave uh, generated by this reflective array. It has one uh, elevation angle and one phi angle. So let's look at our code. I have implemented code in MATLAB GUI and if we click play, sorry it's my previous example, if we click play here appears the uh, input parameter section, geometry section, and our output section. As the input parameters, we have antenna radius. Uh, you can change it from zero to uh, infinity. Its frequency and phase center coordinates, which is represented here. Also, we have a uh, final beam direction of our antenna, which is elevation and azimuth. Uh, this is our the, uh, initial variables and if we click preview it will calculate us the phase distribution of the antenna which works on the 32 gigahertz and its uh, phase of center of feed antenna is situated on the uh, 170 millimeter above the reflective array uh, in this book we have the example that shows the same parameters. I use the same parameters to show you that the code works. Also, we can change these parameters. And if we change the phase center from, for example, 0 to 20 in x direction and click preview, we can see that our antenna shifts towards the uh, x direction by the way this is our x direction this is our y direction and z direction is pointing out of the screen and if we again change the y coordinate of our face center for example to 20 and click preview we can see that our center of the reflective antenna uh, will be shifted to uh, x and y directions also, we can change out the parts and let us turn them to the zero. And uh, for example, in the end, we want to, to our antenna direct all the beam to a certain point. For example, if we want to, it to direct the antenna to the 20 uh, elevation point, and if we click preview, we can see that the phase of the reflectory changed. 
and we can also change its uh, azimuth angle, for example, for 45, and we can see it changed. We can also change it uh, continuously. And uh, we can see that its phase distribution shifts according to input parameters. So that's all have been done. And in my previous video, I showed how you can construct uh, antenna by using MATLAB. And in our case, uh, now we have very small parts and uh, it's, it's not possible to uh, design it in CST hand by hand, uh, placing one part at a time. So I have designed here the uh, system that uh, reads all the phase distribution of our constructed antenna and uh, designs a phased array according to our inputs in CSD. Uh, we can start it by just clicking construct and if you have a CSD in your computer it starts to uh, place these parts uh, according to your inputs. As I said we have here y direction and we have here x direction and if we can put this side by side we can see that uh, our antenna starts to be uh, generated in CSD, like this. And after this, you can place the electric part and the ground part and all the feed antenna here and uh, simulate your antenna according to your needs. And let's look at the code and wait for CST to create the antenna. Uh, in the code, I simply get the frequency parameters and calculated wave number and get the theta direction coordinate, uh, coordinates here. And I have used formula for uh, calculating the phase distribution. I get this formula from this book again. Uh, this is it. It uh, shows the exact frequency response of each element that uh, must be calculated. So let's look at the CST. We can see that uh, it exactly calculated and uh, made the antenna according to our phase uh, distribution that we calculated here. So again, thanks you for watching and please subscribe and like my videos to support me. See you in the next video. Bye.